Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Bonnie O'Sun, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, February 23rd, 2021. Let's go to Randy for our Black History Spotlight. Hey, Bonnie. Today we spotlight Debbie Thomas, who is the first African American to win a medal at the Winter Olympic Games and a two-time U.S. national champion. She won bronze for figure skating in 1988. She started skating at a very young age and did her first figure skating competition at age 9, finishing in first place. From there on, she becomes a skating superstar. Way to go, Debbie! Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. One of the fastest growing sports in the U.S. is rugby. Also known as Rugby Union, it originated in England early in the 19th century. People often compare rugby to American football because they are so similar. In football, teams score points by kicking the ball between posts, which is known as a field goal, and in rugby, the ball must be carried behind the opponent's touchline and then placed down, which is called a try. American football fields are longer than rugby pitches, and although both are very rough, full contact games rugby players use very little protective equipment, whereas football players are heavily padded. The lack of padding might also explain why there are much less tackles in rugby when compared to football. Rugby injuries are frequent but far less serious than football. Now let's get a Noah for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is chicken patty, diced potatoes, diced peaches, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, only three days left in our February I Ready Challenge. Pass 30 Reading I Ready lessons between February 1st and February 26th to join your classmates at the sub party. Let's go out strong to the finish. Also, the Scholastic Book is going on now. It will run until March 7th. The book fair will be virtual. Ask your parents to join you in supporting our school by picking out some awesome books online today. To visit the book fair, click on the link in the description below. Patriots, it's finally here. Today is Kahoot Trivia Night. Join us at 4.30 p.m. by entering the Zoom meeting ID. The trivia will be based on the facts that were presented this month during Black History Spotlight. The Kahoot code will be shared in a Zoom meeting tomorrow. Take a moment and write down the Zoom meeting code, which is 6487054. One, two, three, two. Also, in this description down below. Let's the games begin. Patriots, we continue celebrating black history. Today we share out. The topic is, what is your favorite soul food? Teachers, you can have this discussion in your classroom or with your students. Tomorrow, it's time to create a time capsule that reflects black history month. Be creative and think about what you'd like to see in the future when you open the time capsule. Teachers, you can share your pictures and videos with us at RPTV by emailing to pinesrrenaissance at gmail.com or uploading to the RPTV OneDrive. Finally, come join us virtually as we celebrate Black History Month with our drama production. Stand up! Use your voice! This will air Friday, February 26 at 8 a.m. You can review it on Renaissance Charter School at Pines YouTube channel. Subscribe to receive notifications of new uploaded videos, including this show. Now, let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 82 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Great weather to test some new video games since it looks like we're going to be stuck inside. Now, let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dee. And here's the day. Joke of the day! What do Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have in common? The same middle name! Now let's go to Solomon for today's birthday! 
Thanks, Samuel. That was great. Today's birthday boys and girls are Kylie Jones, Kehlani Guzman, Ariel Bennett, Emmanuel Jean, Benji LaFortune, and Adoni Francis. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Silvera, Ms. Sam Tusteban, Ms. E.M. Dankwa, Ms. Martin Keck, Ms. Dry, Ms. Julian, Ms. Hendrickson, Ms. Calabrese, Ms. Newton, Ms. Kane, Ms. Santori, Ms. Samuel, and Ms. Maynard. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was a time when they are green, a time when they are brown. But both of these times caused me to frown. But just in between, for a very short while, they are perfect and yellow and cause me to smile. What am I talking about here? The correct answer to the riddle was a banana. For today's riddle, if a rooster laid a brown egg and a white egg, what kind of chicks would hatch? Again, if a rooster laid a brown egg and a white egg, what type of chicks will hatch? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.